is David Perman. I am from Fergus Falls, Minnesota. My wife and I, we uh, organized a, uh, an event here in Fergus Falls. It was called the Minnesota, Minnesota Gospel Movement. Uh, my wife is uh, Ethiopian and uh, invited him to come to Minnesota to uh, do a conference. Uh, he graciously agreed and uh, we uh, made all the plans and preparations and this, uh, this weekend of December 8th and 9th of 2018, the Prophet Serafel um, conducted his, uh, this event, this conference. So it was, a, it was a great success. We had, uh, we seen miracles performed. We had uh, uh, just an outpouring of people. We had um, visitors come from many states around to, uh, to see the Prophet and to hear the word from, from God that he brought to us and it was just an amazing event. While we were in the process of uh, uh, one of the meetings at the conference, or the, one of the sessions at the conference, a uh, local newspaper sent a reporter to cover the story because it was a large event in Fergus Falls. It's a smaller community and it, it created quite a stir of, act of interest. The local newspaper came, sent a reporter, and they wrote an article and our uh, local newspaper. It's called the Daily Journal. It's a Fergus Falls newspaper. Um, this is just a public newspaper paper run by the, the, the Daily Journal. And it's uh, just a secular newspaper that uh, covers a variety of uh, topics. <clears throat> but they wrote a nice article. And I wanted to read that to you. Um, so the article is written by Francis Stevenson from the Daily Journal, and I'll read it to you right now. Titled, Ethiopian Prophet, Demissi Visits Fergus Falls. Invited to Fergus Falls by several local churches and hosted in the auditorium of the Kennedy Secondary School over the weekend were several church services conducted by Serafel Demissi, prophet from Ethiopia. What unfolded were events unusual to find in 21st century American churches and unlikely to ever to have ever occurred in the Kennedy Secondary School Auditorium. The Kennedy Secondary School is uh, just a public school and they were they opened up the, the place to us to use for this event. I'll continue with the article. The auditorium was filled primarily with those who had traveled from out of town to see Demissi. Many spoke Amharic, the language of Ethiopia, and Demissi's primary language. Peppered through the crowd were Fergus Falls locals. The service began with music led by David and Dori Baki, worship leaders. Organizers of the event, Shigitu Perman, introduced Demissi. Perman found Demissi while doing a project on her home country of Ethiopia and its religious background and invited him to Fergus Falls. Demissi spoke to the crowded auditorium and gave a long sermon based on the Gospel of Mark, often interrupted by shouts of Amen, Hallelujah, and other sounds of worship. Demissi's words were primarily in Amharic, translated into English by Perman. The words say, when you lay hand on the sick, they will be healed, Demissi said, translated through Perman. Jesus is not dead. He is above this, and the grave, grave could not hold him because of this. Around the second hour of worship, the service took a turn when Demissi called four demons into the room. When I came to Fergus Falls, God told me you will drive out witchcraft and magic, Demissi said, translated through Perman. Amongst the cheering and worshiping, a woman started screaming and crying. She crawled down the aisle of the auditorium to the front where several women wearing name tags reading prayer team were ready with blankets. Demissi asked them to bring her onto the stage. Again he called for the demons in the room and another woman was brought to the front and later another. Demissi asked the prayer team women to help the first woman to her feet and spoke of a demon possessing, possessing the woman 
and then called on Jesus to release her. With a microphone placed in front of her face, the woman said, I do not want to go, I want to kill her. Demissi asked again for Jesus and the room and the room to help drive out the demon. The woman fell backwards into the arms of the prayer team. No doctor can heal her except Jesus, Demissi said, translated through Perman, as the young woman clung to him. No medical equipment can heal what she has been through. Demissi did the same actions to other women he had brought onto the stage. He then went into the audience to speak with people and prophesy or tell them information about their future. Speaking to a young pregnant woman, Demissi said, God is going to give you a boy that is an apostle. The event went on several hours more, according to two audience members who did not wish to be named. On Saturday morning, Demissi healed two ailing audience members. There was a third service Sunday afternoon, again held in the high school auditorium. God is really moving and a lot of people have been praying for this for a long time. Event volunteer and audience member, Maureen Demmer said. That is the, uh, that is the end of the uh, article. So it was, uh, it was just an amazing time and um, from just what I've seen there myself, uh, there was a lot of startled people to actually know that this was possible, you know, that the, the healing could happen in this fashion. So I've seen this myself as I traveled to Ethiopia about two years earlier. I've seen how, the, how much power and, uh, and uh, just presence God has in, a, in a, a meeting when you sincerely call on Him and bring Him into your uh, into your sanctuary to and then ask him for help so this this was a, a big eye-opener for a lot of local people I know a lot of the Ethiopians that were here um, probably expected this as they've seen a lot of videos of of how the prophet Seraphel operates um, um, with God with God's uh, presence in him and uh, so this is uh, an, was an amazing time we, uh, we prayed prior to the event, and we've all had feelings that this type of event in Fergus Falls would be, uh, would be a shift, it'd be a life-changing event in Fergus Falls, as um, this has never really happened in this area. And we believe that this and uh, other meetings that will possibly come back to this area will just continue to push this, uh, push this out and uh, uh, the the healing and the, the revival and the presence of God will just flow from this area. So thank you very much.